In addition to killing people, the coronavirus is killing jobs. Tonight, Georgia's unemployment rate is 5.6%. A year ago at this time, it was 3.3%. Better Call Harry is fighting every day for unemployed Georgians who can't get through to Georgia's Department of Labor. The Labor Commissioner says because of the pandemic, he can't risk reopening offices to the public, but thousands of Georgians are simply stuck in limbo. Harry is at the Norcross office with more. Georgia's Department of Labor closed its doors to the public six months ago. And while it's processed billions of dollars in claims, a lot of people, thousands of people are still asking, when is it my turn? Like their prized bulldogs, they're faster than me. Ed and Susan Ringle have lots of time to hang out and do nothing. It's kind of scary because you don't know if it's going to come back. You know it should, but you don't know when. The Ringles are contract workers for venues like the Georgia World Congress Center. They do setups for the boat show, for the car show, but since March 14th, it's been a no show, and it's not just on events. Their unemployment benefits started, and then the payments stopped. He got three, I got four. Thousands of Georgians like the Ringles are having the same issue. They have complicated claims and need to speak to someone. The Ringles ended up leaving a note, and we watched the same thing happen today. These guys should figure it out? Yes, absolutely. People need money. Six months after closing to the public, Labor Commissioner Mark Butler says it's still not safe enough to put his staff at risk. In July, we asked the commissioner when he would allow folks to book appointments online. Can you give us an idea of when you'll be able to look at your website and say, book an appointment? Yes, we are working with several different vendors uh, to come up with uh, you know, something like that. We know from speaking to our sources here at Georgia's Department of Labor that IT is finalizing a plan to allow you to book appointments online. We know it's going to happen soon, but we still don't know exactly when. In Norcross, I'm Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News. And you should reach out to Better Call Harry if you need help. The email address is bettercallharry at cbs46.com.